Oh yeah, good one, real good one. Real good one, Jim. Where the fish was right up there. Really tight up on the bank? Right on it, man. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's a good one. She's a big one. Oop. Oh, boy, he's, all, he's not going to hang on here for I know it, long. I know it. That's so I need you <laughs> to lift him into the net here about right now. Okay. There Thank you. Hang yeah. on. Just hold him right there. Well, yeah, it's... Hold it. Hold it. There. There. That was excellent. Let me get that tail tail hooked out of there. You could dig my bait out of there if you'd be kind enough to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, th that's what we're fishing for. You know, that's a good one. Like I said, we've been we've been uh, uh, jerk baiting and throwing uh, uh, crank baits, and it's been working pretty good, pretty darn good. You know, the <clears throat> there's a lot of all species of fish actually have predict the very predictable seasonal patterns, easy to understand, easy to predict, way more, way better, more consistent than daily patterns, which can be real erratic. And uh, uh, there's some guys chasing some some smallies. So, yeah, yeah, you know this movement that we're talking about in fall, where on these bigger rivers, these smallmouth, it's just something, and they bunch up big time. Mass, you can get in an area with two miles of water, and have it loaded with fish, loaded, loaded with them. Yeah, you know, and they just they're coming down, they're settling down for the winter time getting ready for a long winter's rest. That was a pretty nice fish. That fish gym was right square on the bank. I got in between, yeah, you know, the floating leaves. You know there's a half a dozen more of them in here, right here on this edge that we're fishing through here. Ooh, got him, got him. Good one, Jim. This is a good one. Not a giant, but a, a decent one. Huh. Not even a not even a decent one. Well, yeah, I guess you could call it decent. Hang on here. Mm, that's not a bad fish. I'll take that back. You know, Jim's cranking in front. I'm jerking in back, and we're kind of mixing it up, and both. Seem to be working really, really good. Yeah, yeah, really good. Fish are starting to pork up. They're getting ready for the winter. You take that moon phase in September, cooling water trends, and this, this big smallmouth movement in fall is happening. I want to talk about this bait a minute. This is the new uh, jerk bait from Rapala, the Maverick 110. And you might ask yourself, if you're familiar with all the Rapala's uh, hard baits, what's the difference between the x wrap and, let's say, the shadow wrap? And a big difference. The x wrap is probably my all-time favorite multi-species jerkbait in a Rapala line. The shadow wrap deep is one of my all-time favorite largemouth baits. In fall, when the water's real cold, the X, X wrap is real erratic. Jump, you never know what the bait's going to do. It triggers fish. The subtleness of the shadow wrap deep was designed for fin finicky, tough fishing conditions, excellent real cold water. The bait just shimmies. This is a cross between the two. Cast like a bullet. The weighting system is fantastic. It ha has the uh, new red line a hook series on here. These things are the sharpest hooks in a whole wide world. You know, they got a wide variety of different kinds of colors. This bait fits right in between the Rapala family of the other, other two. And it is one fish catching machine. Oh, oh there he is. Oh. oh, little guy. Little guy. Guy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. You gotta start somewhere. And this is where I'm starting. 
and he's the right genetic makeup. Smallmouth bass rivers. Ooh, I just missed one, Jim. I got him that time. These are better fish out here. Big fish. That's a better one now. Yeah. I knew she was a big one. Oh, man. The weather's changed. We got some frontal conditions coming in. Gonna get very cold and ugly tonight. Gonna be a game changer. I know a lot of this stuff we're fishing here though. But man, you take the time to learn the seasonal movements that he's fishing. Your favorite lake, in this case, we're talking about the smallies and big rivers where you can concentrate big numbers of them like this. And uh, you know, it's been kind of fun. We were out here a few days ago and uh, Jimmy was just smoking them on the OG, and I was doing okay. Uh, that's what I was throwing the Maverick. Today, it just kind of seems like it's reversing itself a little bit. But those two families of baits, you know, of hard baits, in a lot of these rivers, when those fish are fairly shallow and fairly shallow rocks, will get you bit. It'll get you bit. <laughs> 